they seem very powerful. What's up with Ember? She rolled a two. Okay, now the game is just just making fun of me. <laughs> the game's like, oh, and one is not enough. Let me give you one more. Oh, we have music. For some reason, BGM is really slow in this. It's really low. Yeah, there's almost no BGM. Okay, good job, girl. The abyss is chaos, and everything in it is constantly changing in both appearance and nature. Even the architecture of the city is in constant, mo constant motion. This is the guiding principle of its design. Okay, so we can... Okay, can we stay here? I thought we would be able to go up here. Maybe we are not. Wait a second. Let me just get my my main character. Maybe maybe she does can. No, it doesn't seem like I can step up here because I thought this was a teleportation thing that would lead me over there that in turn will lead me here then I could lower this and then I would get here that's what it feels like wait let me try something else so it doesn't go up when I'm on top of it It does not. Huh. I see. Okay. Alright. No problem there. There was a... Uh, here. Well, I thought it seemed loot. Okay. Well, let's go grab this loot. Let's hope they're not mad at me for grabbing this. I'm still learning how things work, okay? Okay, so more demon blood. Good. Very nice. Something's gonna happen here. It's a very big square. There are some spots that can only be reached with teleport. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know. I do have a few. That's fine. See many beggars. Magical acorn? That's funny. Sila's perception check has failed. The road calls me. Pretty sure my own won't. Up here. I see. Six DC. That's insane. Okay, I see a few beggars. Uh, commoner. Commoner. Oh, isn't Bismuth great? He chatted for me. So I'm gonna be often changing. Oh, I see. I see. What is that? Okay, so there's nothing here. What changes with that? This. 
why would it change? Maybe I can get something up here next to these things, which I still don't know what they are. No, 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 no. It's this one. Okay, all right, we made it. Let's save. I see a lot of beggars. Is someone with an actual name? And Zara. Wow, we have made it all the way through. Hmm. And this is the lower city only. Okay. Oh, trickery. 40. Let's save. Mm, I failed. Dude, I needed to roll a four. Come on. So many thoughts. And I can't do it anymore. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if they're gonna hate me if I get in there. Maybe I have to talk to people first. Mm, I just noticed that my link... My uh, social media link is wrong. I need a space. Okay, let's talk to Geocon. Oh, or he's going to talk to us. <laughs> a group of dirty baggers in tattered clothes have gathered around a handsome young man with messy dark hair. The crowd is clearly hostile, but he doesn't seem to notice. He gives the baggers a charming smile, completely oblivious to the sharp shivs glinting in their hands. The young man has a glove puppet in his hand. A dragon made of rags with buttons for eyes. He raises it up and begins to ventriloquize in a surprisingly deep voice. Okay. Hey, lousy parasites. Who's in charge here? The young man lowers his puppet and beams cheerfully. He addresses the crowd normally in a warm, friendly voice. I would like to invite your leader to romantic dinner with candles. I'll pay for everything, of course. Mm, I'm not gonna interfere. The beggars whisper among themselves. You manage to catch a few, a few snippets of their conversation. He's crazy. Even B. And what if he bites you? <laughs> Before the crowd disperses, the young man jots something down in his notebook. That's new. Okay, let's try this trickery again. Did you see that? Okay. Oh, into the rotten guttery. Okay, alright. We'll be going. Eventually. I don't see anything moving around. But I do know. Hello. The sound of your footsteps startles the demon, and she gives you a baffled look. You have disturbed me, mortal. Why have you broken my solitude? On second thought, Savor answers. Your reasons do not interest me. A boy of about twelve stands next to her. The boy examines the wrists, which are covered in strange round scars that look like they may have come from suction cups. His inflamed skin, burning eyes, and general appearance suggests that the demon blood runs through their veins, through his veins. He lifts his gaze and gives you a long, sad look. Who are you? I'm Zara the Grim, Mordor Worm, the most skillful explorer in the dark of the dark depths of Ishiar. 
I learned from Master Willidus, Willidus himself, the trusted mage of Our Lady in Shadow. One day I will surpass my master's skill and take his place. Everyone knows this, including Willidus himself. So next time you dare to address me, do so with respect if you'd like your head to remain on your shoulders. Hmm. Hmm. What are you doing? I'm listening to the ocean and waiting for its worthless whelp to recover enough strength to plunge back into Ishir's depths. What a shame that I cannot walk its path myself. How ironic that the most coveted mysteries are revealed to the most pitiful of creatures. Mortals. Who is this boy? The demon gives an arrogant snort. Jorge is my son. Zorgis, sorry, George Zorgis. <clears throat> the best of my offspring. Oh. But why is he so sad if he's your... Oh no. Is this demon experimenting? He is helpful and obedient. Ah. Uh. Which is the only reason I condescend to take care of this wretched creature. I'm not going to address the boy just yet. What draws you to wish here? The unknowability of it. It's said everything is possible in the abyss, but we demons receive only the most trivial and vulgar part of it. Flying islands, storms of living fire, awakening tombs and songs that can steal the minds of those who sleep. Through wonders, the greatest paradoxes and the mysteries that should not exist are hidden in these waters. They lie so deep that even Dagon's servants dare not descend into the darkness. It is the domain of Quiploths. Philippoths, whatever that is, where common sense is a lie and abstractions are more substantial and solid than matter. Okay, let's go talk to the boy now. Are you alright, kid? The boy flinches as you speak to him. He looks at you with amazement, perhaps even fear. Then his eyes dart to the demon. Mother, may I speak to her? The demon's voice holds suspicion and anger. Don't speak to the boy. What do you want with him? Are you plotting to steal him away? He warned. If you lay a finger on him... You will regret it. Hmm. What are you doing to your son? Tell me the truth. Do you truly think I will answer you, Worm? I grow even more inclined to destroy you as well. Mother tells me to dive deep to places where moonlight never reaches. Down there, I... Uh, the boy stops, his words drowned out by the demon's angry hissing. Sorry, mother, I won't say any more. Champion, how could we allow this child to remain in the hands of this cruel creature? Normally, I would say we have no right to deprive a child of their parents' love, but these creatures do not know love. Hmm. Hmm. How could a mother be so cruel to her child? So what if he's my blood? That's not why I feed and protect him. Little Zorges is available because his brothers and sisters died during my research. I knew she was experimenting on him. God darn it. He's the only one who shows reliable, consistent results. She envies him. That's why she's so cruel to him. She wants to dive into these depths herself, but she cannot. What would you prefer, Zorgis? What do I want? In the depths, nobody knows this word. Want. And I wasn't taught it on the surface either. I know how to obey, dive, be quiet. But I don't know what, what to want. What could I possibly want? Stop addressing my property, Worm. Or I'll pour the waters of Ishiar down your throat and let the ocean's tiny mollusks 
mollusks, the mollusks, mollusks. I, I I can't pronounce this word correctly. Chat, mollusks, mollusks. <laughs> I can't. There's an S right there that I can't I can't pronounce. Tiny somethings devour you from the inside and turn you into this other shell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, well, I am chaotic. So let's fight. Taking a child away from a bad mother is not a crime, but rather a good deed. Be gone. The demon looks you over, and the confidence in her eyes fades. He shrugs. You want to take the boy? I don't care. He's yours. I won't fight over a trifle like the life of some mortal spawn, especially since it's near exhausted its usefulness. Take him and do as you want with him. Ah. Uh. Hello, boy. Okay, I, ju I just got a child. Is this how children? Is this how we get children? Um, wh wh what do I do with it? Um, never had a child before. The boy you saved from his wicked mother gives you a look that is both sad and mature beyond his years. Um, okay. I sense a certain darkness within this youth, hiding deep inside. Yet he himself is not evil. His soul is pure and kind, as a child's soul should be. The boy is silent is fo and focused, as if he's too heard of the voice of the hand. See? I knew this was gonna happen! He, he heard the hand of the inheritor, so he's not devoted to evil. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Does the spirit speak the truth? Is there really darkness inside me? But how can I carry evil in me, yet not to be evil? It's alright to be different. I'm different too. The commander has lots of odd friends. <laughs> Do you want to be friends? Oh, I'm very so precious. I think so. I don't know how, but I'll try. What do I need to do? Okay, great. Now I have two children to take care of. To Ember and Zorges. Nothing. We are now friends. You don't have to do anything to be friends. You just have to want to be friends. Oh, God. Amelia, of course. Please don't tell me that we shall be traveling through the abyss with this creature. We chase away this mother which is more than anyone else has done for him. I suggest we allow this boy to decide his own fate. Okay, Camellia, nobody asked you. Okay, so just shush, just... Abandon him in the middle of the abyss? Do you have any idea what they will do to a lone, helpless child? You're an adult and he is a child. It's your duty to take care of him and keep him safe. Oh, Yomade. Was Horgus really such a bad father that you don't even understand this? He is a demon. I do not understand. He reminds you of the um, repulsive creature you were as an adolescent. But surely you do not intend to raise a spawn of the abyss to be a paladin of Yomade. How do you propose to do that? Will you teach him not to tear people apart and feed him blood from your breasts instead of milk? He's done nothing wrong. Yet I did not sense evil within him. But if we abandon him to his fate, the abyss may prevail and sow darkness in his soul. Perhaps that is exactly what he wants. Okay, you two, shut up. Sh shut up. Um, can you see and hear the hand of the inheritor? Yes, he glows. And he is not evil. I think I like him. But I feel there is an irre irreconcilable conflict between us. It is unfortunate. So this child can hear and see me. He is not evil, nor is he a sorcerer, a mage, or a wizard. He wields no spell that could reveal the unseen and carries no such spells cast by someone else. He just sees. What powers does this youth possess? Okay, Zordzis. Who are you? 
mother named me Zorzis. I'm a creature of her making, and until recently I was her creature in every way. I had many brothers and sisters, but none survived her research, so I was the one, only one left. Now that my mother is gone, I don't know who I am. Am I Zorzis? But that name means nothing. It was whispered into my mother's ear by Ishiar. So who am I? Oh, that's sad. Tell me about your mother. Her name is Zara the Grim. She used to be a pauper, a diver who collected what Ishiar had taken. The ocean has no floor, so she recovered whatever hadn't sunk too deep. But those bounties were as gener generous as Ishiar is harsh. No one knows the ocean as well as she did. She knows the safe passages and she guides ships swimming at half speed so they don't fall behind. I'm gonna see about the spams in chat. Seems like my timers are spamming so much. Or maybe I need more people talking in them. That could be it. She is a child of Ish Ishiar. Mm. She was created in it. Her first cry burst from her lips the moment she broke the surface. But many centuries have passed since her incarnation. She's dark, like Ishiar. Cruel, like Ishiar. Powerful and uncompromising, like Ishiar. Fertile and merciless toward her children, like Ishiar. What magical experiments did she perform on you? I'm too young, and I don't know enough to judge them. We'd go to the shore, to Ishiar. She'd feed me potions, then force me to dive, deeper and deeper each time. By the time I was eight, I could dive so deep the water pressed on me from all sides, and my body no longer wanted to ascend. I had to stay there as long as I could. Then I'd come up, my nose bleeding, and sometimes my mouth and ears as well, even my eyes. The next day, mother would make me drink a different potion, then sent me down again. It was so dark down there. I could feel the touches of strange, dark things. Sometimes their vibrations reached me as if they were communicating with me. On those days, I vomited black slime. I tried to hear the voices, but I never had enough time. Mother would be furious, beat me, brew a new potion, then make me dive deeper, stay longer. Hmm. The last time I spent seven hours in the water. Wait, what? There were so many vibrations, they enveloped me. I wonder if she's trying to find one of the monsters there are deep down we saw in the map. And then I realized I'm neither food nor an enemy. Though I have the blood of the enemy in my veins. What does it mean? I don't understand. It was a little boring, so I imagined I was a giant octopus floating in the deep, waiting for prey. I'm afraid no one else will tell you more about me because you angered my mother and she is vindictive. Oh, come on. So what are we going to do with you now? I'd rather not go home, as I have nowhere else to go. What do they do, those who have nowhere to go? I don't know. Maybe I should live in each year? Champion, we have no right to leave him here by himself. He needs care, and fate has entrusted you with this child. Fate? No, I was being chaotic. I have faith that you will make the right choice. Mm. Okay, all right. I'll take care of the kid. You will find refuge at my camp if you so choose. Thank you for not deciding for me, but granting me the right to choose. Others have not done this, and so I will accept your invitation. The little one is now safe in our care. Neither his cruel mother nor a remorseless kidnapper will cause him further harm. I'm glad we share a belief that children should not be victims of such evil. I'm certain young, young Orges, Zorges, something, will be better off on Galarian. I'm not so certain, but seems like the most obvious choice. 
I have, however, angered his mother, and I'll be seeing her again. I guess we're gonna have to wait. So there's something under there. It's changing. Oh, hello. Okay. How do I get there, however? Let's enter this place. Loot. That's the way I like it. No secrets can escape my prying. Oh, hello, ears. hello. Okay, all right, all right. We have a door. Hmm. Might be too early this to get way. into this door, but do I look like I care? That's safe. Maybe a enemies. bright future awaits us. I don't see anything here. Okay, I'm gonna put the rogue first. We will win this war. Okay, I found something. A trap. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. That was a high check. Yeah, thirty-seven. Wow. Not mad enough to do it. It's a 42, but a world of four? Unbelievable. We did it. Okay. How close am I to level? Very close to level. Oof. No Another one? And I hear swords. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. There's a bunch of stuff. Gotcha. I did it. Okay. All right. Blah blah blah. Ooh, hello, hello. Ooh, hello there. First of all, demon slayer soup. Yummy. Who are you? Pharaoh Charge, Composite Shortbow. Plus four? If the wither of this plus four speed. Oh wow. As an animal companion or similar creature, it is affected by a constant haste spell effect. Oh my god, I need to give Wendu and Ru a, a companion. I need. I need. I need. Because that is freaking awesome. There. Um, how pretty is it? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my god. The haste. The haste. Look how many attacks we have. Oof. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We we'll still do much more damage with this one, though. But it's fine. It's fine. I also got something else. Uh, where is it? Oh, the soup. We we're done with the soup. Okay, so there's nothing else here. Okay, there's nothing else here. Shall we go down? No, no. Oh, wait. That's where we came from. Duh. That's where we came from. Uh, I know what I'm doing, Chad. What are you saying? I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. We shall move. Interesting how they're not giving me any fights. And as I speak... Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah. This is Nocticula, isn't it? This is Nocticula. 